Calculate the current gain IO by IS in the circuit of figure. Solution First we will redraw the circuit. Let's assume this is mesh number 1 with current I1, this is mesh number 2 with current I2 and this is mesh number 3 with current I3. Now as we can see that I1 is equal to IS and I3 is equal to IO. So we will apply KVL to mesh number 2. This will be positive, this will be negative according to the direction of this current. This will be positive and this will be negative. So apply KVL to mesh number 2. Let's say we will start from here. So this will be 30 I2 minus I1. 30 I2 minus I1. Then plus 20 I2. Plus 20 I2. Then minus 5 VO. Minus 5 VO is equal to 0. So this will be 30 I2 minus 30 I1 plus 20 I2 minus 5. This VO is VO is 30 I1 minus I2. 30 I1 minus I2 is equal to 0. So this will be 30 I2 minus 30 I1 plus 20 I2 minus 150 I1 minus 1 minus minus plus 150 I2 is equal to 0. So this will be minus 180 I1 then this will be 30 plus 20 50 50 plus 150 200 plus 200 I2 is equal to 0. Let's say this is equation number 1. Now we will apply KVL to mesh number 3. Apply KVL to mesh number 3. Let's say we will start from here. So this will be plus 5VO plus 5VO Then this will be positive, this will be negative, positive, negative. So positive 10 I3 plus 10 I3 or directly 10 plus 40 50 I3 plus 50 I3 50 I3 is equal to 0. Phi U into this VO is VO is 30 into I1 minus I2. 30 into I1 minus I2 plus 50 I3 is equal to 0. This will be 150 I1 minus 150 I2 plus 50 I3 is equal to 0. Let's say this is equation number 2. So we have equation number 1 and equation number 2. So we will write this equation again. This is equation number 1. So and this is equation number 2. But I1 is equal to I1 is equal to IS and I3 is equal to IO and I3 is equal to IO. So this will be minus 180 minus 180 IS plus 200 
I2 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 and this equation will be 150 IS minus 150 I2 then plus 50 this I3 is IO IO is equal to 0 now let's say this is equation number A and this is equation number B now we have to cancel this I2 so for that we will multiply this equation by 3 and this equation by 4 so this will be 600 and this will be 600 so they will they will get cancelled so minus this will be 18 into 180 into 3 minus 540 plus 200 600 600 I2 is 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 equal to 0 and this will be 600 IS minus 600 I2 plus this will be 200 IO is equal to 0 so this will be plus and this will be minus 540 plus 600 is 60 60 IS plus 200 IO is equal to 0 so this will be 60 IS is equal to minus 200 IO what we have to find we have to find IO by IS so IO by IS is equal to 60 by minus 200 60 by minus 200 so this is 60 by 200 0 0.3 so this will be minus 0 0.3 therefore IO by IS is equal to minus 0 0.3 For electrical and electronics engineering related questions and answers, visit the link in the description below.